Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be a review of Hillary's Digital Faith Planner from Creative Faith and Company. She made her own digital planner and she reached out to me and asked me if I would review it. She knew that I was into digital planning and faith journaling and she's diving into this kind of atmosphere of digital planning and journaling, which having a hybrid, you know me, I'm a proponent of the hybrid. Doing it both ways are for me as effective and life-changing and growing as anything else. So I'm going to show you a flip through of her planner and do a quick process so you can get an idea and explain some things along the way and some things that you can adjust if everything on it is not what you would particularly use. I'll get more into that, okay? A special thanks and hugs out to Hillary for reaching out and giving me the honor of reviewing her planner and having an opportunity to share it with you guys. And I hope you will go over to her shop and check it out or any products that she has there. I'll put a link to her shop down below. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember, if I can Bible journal or digital journal and plan, so can you. Take care. Here we are in the yearly section, which is a yearly overview where you can put all of your plans for the year. And it could be birthdays, it could be events that you need to do, things that you need to do in particular months. If you have an, an illness or you have to keep track of some appointments, you have specific appointments in different months, you can put it right there so that when it's time to do your monthly, you can just plop it right in. And here we are to the monthly. And look how beautiful these covers are. I love the boho neutral color aspect of it and here is the monthly spread i like the fact that it has a work and a personal section right at the bottom so there's some things that you need to do personally that you may want to keep track of for the month and then you may have some things work related or what i would do which would be for like youtube or church i will put that in the work section and then my personal for me or and or my family and you can write it down there and when this is what i like about it I can refer to it and then when it's time to do it, I can check it off and put it in my weekly or my daily planning. And so here we are in the weekly planning, which I have been interested in looking into actually digital planners that have this kind of spread on the side Monday through Sunday with boxes on the other side. So I like the fact that it's a faith planner and you can have the verse of the week because with our church and what we're doing in our five minute tithe to the Lord in the morning, we have a verse or a scripture that we're meditating on or may have to memorize and I can put it right there for that week. And so I'm really excited about that. The other thing that I like about this weekly spread is that it has a long to-do list. And for me, because I am a stay-at-home mom, there are things that I need to get done during the week, but sometimes I'm not sure which day I'm going to be able to do them and so to have it listed on the sides and then as I'm going throughout my day if those things happen or I can achieve it I can move it over and put it into my weekly plan section and and track I'm sorry and track the day that I actually did it and then check it off my to-do list so I really like that so here we are in the daily section again beautiful cover great job Hillary the daily is similar to the weekly where it's, but the daily is broken down from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then you have a Bible verse of the day, which is really good. And then you have your top three that you want to accomplish today. And then here you go again with your to-do list on that day. So you have it all on one shot, all on one page, and you can easily navigate throughout the day and move what was over in your to-do list over to your daily um, hourly spread now here we are with the meals now for me I don't necessarily keep track of my meals but I am going to be trying some vegan meals and so I may put it here and then like what's in my fridge and freezer and cupboard that's really good things to purchase for people who cook my husband does the cooking and so I don't keep track of things like this in terms of what to cook. I usually just tell him or we talk about what we're going to have for dinner. I may take care of breakfast or lunch, but he'll take care of that. So I can 
easily switch that around and I can add in some vegan recipes, different things that I may want to try and put a photo. So once I do something like that, I'll definitely do another video and show you guys. But this is what the meals would look like and a lot of people plan their meals. It's a good way to keep track of your health and what you've eaten. And it's an overall good way to set up a meal plan for the week and this way you know what you're eating each day and you can control what you eat and have more self-control over what you intake. Another pretty page and this is the health section. I love all the tabs and it was really quick to navigate through each one. There wasn't hardly any delay. This is the health section and it's down Monday through Sunday. You can see and here is where you can keep track of your food that you eat. Uh, breakfast lunch and dinner which I think is a really good idea you exercise some people have to take medicines or uh, vitamins that you have to have for the day and then a sleep a small sleep record nothing too deep I really like this and you're going to see when I do the health section how I switch this up because I will use the meal section to track what I eat for breakfast lunch and dinner there I may try it here I'm not sure but I like to leave room for what I do for my workout and I can always do the meals on the meal page but this page I transformed and made it into my more or less workout page because I need a larger space to put the decorations and then to track what I'm doing but I left the sleep part open and you'll see that and here we are in the beautiful faith section I love this section you have your verse and scripture it's self-explanatory dates I mean notes and doodles you can just jot down something that ministered to you something that you read you can just quickly put it there put the date uh, even if the God is Jesus is the Holy Spirit is even if you're not following that kind of a format you can just wipe that out and do something for yourself and I like the I will and then my favorite Bible verse so it's a nice way to do a quick Bible study and to keep it all in one place I love the fact again that this is a faith journal and I applaud her for putting it all in one because I have separate journals for faith and I have journal planners for what I do socially and for the church and personally and this one I can keep it all in here and still do some faith planning here you have a prayer journal excuse me but I will still use my other digital planner my other digital journals because I like to use those as well but I like having a space here a Heavenly Father prayer journal it's a great place to keep something private to write down some prayers sometimes you get a text I get a text or I may hear someone on YouTube or see something on Instagram or somebody may mention that they need prayer or someone in their family I can just jot it right there and pray for them and a reminder to pray sermon notes I love this I can take this to church now that we're back in the building and I can quickly drop my notes and even though I'm in my Christian planner the physical one I have it right there and I don't have it all over my phone even though I'm in the tech booth when it's time for preaching everything is pretty much set I can just take my notes and then you can always add the page you see if you click on the plus sign you can add a page afterwards and you can do that with any of those I'm going to show you right here you see that I added a page the prayer journal so once you use that page then you just add another page and it will duplicate your current template leave it blank and you can write in it all over again I'm going to hit the add tab again and here it is another blank one so if I fill this page up I just add a tab and you won't break the hyperlinks or anything like that you can just add your pages to it which I think is another good idea and option that these faith and digital planners have here we are in the goals section it's a very thorough planner so this is your goal planner big steps little steps I love that you have your main goal and how will my life change if I achieve this goal I think that's really good your big steps and then like I said the small steps to achieve those big steps because we know that that works best because it can be overwhelming to have this big goal but if you just achieve a little bit at a time you will feel a lot more productive and it's a lot more satisfying so I like this goal page. I would definitely use it. What I like about this, this is a life planner and it's a faith planner. It's not difficult. It's really cute. It's simple and you can do a lot with it and keep it all in one place. And then you have here goals. All of your goals here, family, faith, job, business, friends, self-care, you see it. You don't have to use these titles, like I said, and you will see me cover up boxes. You can just cover up. Let's say you don't have anything about 
adventure of fun that you have for a goal. Just cover it up with a white block and change it to something else. Same with the job or business. I keep blocks of colors in my good notes and I'm pulling in a white block or a white backing and all you do is you can just size it and cover it and you just cover up the wording. So let me show you like that. I'm sorry, I'm, I somehow lost the rest of the footage for that covering up the block, but all I did was cover up the block and with the white space and that was it. But I'll show you something like that at another time. This section right here is just for notes and I'm going to use this section to keep track of budget or I may buy just a budget sheet. I have other planners that have budgets in it or I may just buy like a cheap 50 cents Etsy shop sheet and put the budget paper right there and type on it and then the final space is list now with the note section that's a free space you can do brainstorming you can do brain dumps there you can do all kinds of things you can do free writing space whatever you want here I love this section that is just lists because there are just some things that's going on in my mind that I need to achieve and need to do I don't know when I'm going to do them I don't know when I can do them Lord spare my life I like to complete them this year some of it is personal some of it is household so I just want to, I got a space, one space where I can just put my list and I can go to it and check it off and then I can copy whatever was on that list and put it into my planning space to show that I've achieved it and completed it. And so it's another great way to keep track of the things that you want to do. And it can be anything. That's why I'm typing in here all of my life because you can totally use it for just about anything and that's what I would use this list for but you can use it for whatever you want Hillary once again thank you for sharing this with me I uh, hope you guys will check it out those of you who are into planning and digital planning it's not hard you may not be into it I didn't think I would get into it but I did I love all things digital I love the the freedom that I have to do it on the go or I can do it physically. And so now I'm out of physical planners and I'm doing all of my planning digitally. Let's see if I can put some pages together for you just to give you a sample of how it looks. And you know what, during this process, I realized that because this planner is so, it's so cute, it's not plain where I have to do a lot of decorating, which I love pretty planning so I do love that but this one because this is probably going to be a more functional planner for me it's kind of already semi decorated and I don't need a lot of decorations throughout the week I can just kind of like brainstorm what I need to do and put it here and then transfer some things over to my social media media and church planning I, it, it's a lot that I can do with this without having the pressure of pretty planning or putting stickers down which is fine because you don't have to decorate st with stickers. You can just use it as, it should be used as a planner, but because we are into planning, we like to pretty it up. I mean, that's what girls do sometimes. We pretty things up. So I'm going to speed this up. I've already put my, my numbers in. And let's see how this turns out. I'm going to use a kit from the Planner Shack and it's Paws, Paws and Pets and Pets and Paws, something like that. And then I'm going to use some Hillary element in my weekly planning and that's when I began to realize that you don't need to do a lot of decorating with this planner it has color to it it has some elements on it but you can still make it your own and add stickers and things like that and it'll work out just fine you already know how I decorate planners I will spend another time decorating this planner but I just wanted to give you guys a feel of how it looks with stickers on the page and then how it looks plain either way it works you don't have to go and buy stickers you can just use the planner as is which that's what I really do like about it my son's favorite genre of music is rock and he loves rock music and he loves he loves 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 ultimately loves the Beatles and so Paul McCartney was in New Jersey yesterday and we had an opportunity to get really good concert tickets for him we got them the moment they came out and he had a ball he said if he never goes to another concert again this would do it for him we told him of course you got many more to go to we were just blessed to be able to share this opportunity with him hence is why 
this video is up on a Friday instead of the way that I planned it was yesterday but just had a busy day and I needed to take care of some things and so this got a little delayed and pushed back so I do apologize for that because I did say that I was going to have it posted so I'm throwing on some stickers here from rustic farm chick as well as Zakia Zach yeah Zaka digital but she has everyday digitals I love these kind of little icons so both of those stores have nice digital icons that I can keep track of and like I stated before I do like the week the work and the personal section here of the monthly planner I'm just putting some things down in here that I would like to achieve uh, in this month this month is almost over but some of these can transfer over to July I'm giving you guys a feel of what the planner can look like if you have stickers on it and you can just go crazy or you can keep it simple as I've stated before and there you have the monthly and let's do a quick weekly and then we are done thank you for taking out the time to watch this video I know it's super long but you know I wanted to do this review and I wanted you guys to actually see it in process take care okay so I'm putting in my numbers as you can see and then I'm getting the scripture for the week that I am meditating on as well as memorizing and this is part of the meditation for my church putting down some things that I need to do next week possibly as things arise I'll add them to this list but I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I had to do on my list and then I can pop it over there there's not much that needs to be done as you can see I don't even have to decorate this planner and that's where I struggled because there really wasn't much to do she has nice little flowers on there so I got some of her mugs and I decided to put some of her summer mugs on there she has a little to-do list and I put some banners up there just to zhuzh it up a little bit more but it doesn't need it at all and so I really enjoyed this process and now I know that I don't have to worry about really decorating this planet. I can just throw a couple of these little wordings, a couple of her summer mugs and some of the other kits from my other shops and, and be done with it. See, it's really done. And I bought her rest in him kit and I'm going to include that into the faith portion of this planner but time won't a lot for me to do it today but I will do it in the future so you guys can see how you can use it in the faith aspect of this planner if you have any questions about digital planning and journaling please ask me I will be glad to walk you through literally step by step because someone took the time to show me and I so appreciate her for that I have to pay it forward I'm also working on learning a little bit more of digitally planning and journaling on an Android device using Penly I just purchased it and I'm working on that I'll get with you guys in the future once I begin to get the hang of it but here you have it I don't know what my week is going to look like so I can't fill it in but I'll keep you posted with the flip through in the future that's all I have for the weekly setup for now it'll be filled in later on this week so the health section I just want to get my sec my workout section all set up for next week and I don't have to worry about it uh, during the week I can just fill it in and don't have to worry about the decoration here is where you see me alter this part of the planner to fit my needs where I'm going to cover up the space I was doing it individually but I realized I can just block it out completely just block out and make it all white and then you guys can be able to see how I set up my my health and physical fitness aspect of this portion of the planner thank you for watching I hope you're inspired and encouraged by this review Hillary God bless you I hope this sells and uh, just be patient with it this is new to a lot of people and people are getting on board so look out for it and just keep trusting God that he will give you the increase in his time I will leave a link to her shop down below and you can go and check it out and that's it I hope you guys were inspired and encouraged by this video here you see me decorating it and then during the week I can just put in what my exercise and workout regimen was and then I want to keep track of how I slept or how many hours I slept and how I felt when I slept and that's it okay guys let's take care of one another let's love one another as Christ has loved us
as I was editing this video and going over just the planner, there was one part I forgot, and I'm so sorry guys, it's the vision board. Each month there is a vision board, which I like, and I also noticed that this planner is vertical. I'm so used to a horizontal planner and like a two-page spread kind of planner, but this is a vertical planner which is quite different for me to work in i just realized that but i like it i like the full page nestness so i'm going to decorate this vision board really quick guys i'm going to use creative uh faith and companies her i think it's be still kit to do the vision board and throw in some ladies loving god elements in it and then i am so done take care bye